We are live in Etobicoke tonight where fire officials are continuing to investigate what caused this fire here at this home behind me. You can see that the roof is caved in and only charred debris remains on the top floor after the fire broke out this morning, leaving one woman in serious condition. The blaze broke out just after 11. The top floor of the home located on Lakeshore Boulevard, just west of Royal Oak, York, quickly became engulfed in flames. A video sent to us by witnesses show a man trying to break down the door of the home with a chair. Tarek Hagali tells us he was driving by and thought that the fire was happening at his uncle's home at first. I ended up being a lieutenant, I know, so I tried to go break the side door with the chair a few times and uh, took about eight hits and then I just couldn't go in. There was too much smoke. Our crews remain on scene right now, hours after the flames were extinguished. We spoke with an area resident who called 911 after being alerted to the fire. She says she was left shaken by the incident. There was a, a big explosion. I, I actually thought it was a car accident at first. So when I came outside, I then thought maybe it's a gas leak or something like that has happened. It's actually kind of a little bit scary to, to actually uh, see it and, and be like one of the first people on the scene. So it kind of shocked me a little bit today. There was a significant fire when, when our crews arrived. So our normal response uh, when they arrive to a scene like that and see significant fire, they ask for a second alarm, which basically doubles the complement of firefighters we have here. At the moment, I can't talk about uh, any, any cause. Uh, we don't know. Now, fire officials say that the fire was knocked down before it could spread to the neighboring homes beside this house. Paramedics say no one else was assessed on scene, but a witness that we spoke to says that he tried to get inside the house to save a cat, but was unsuccessful. We'll have more on this story online on citynews.ca.